Hey, how's it going guys? Samsung has updated their A line for the 2016. We've got our hands on the A5 2016 edition. You're watching Ellipsis. This is Arvind. Let's get started. This phone costs about 25,000 rupees in uh, India. So we'll open the box and uh, we've got the quick start guide. Uh, so let's keep it aside and then we'll uh, get the phone out okay the phone looks pretty good phone looks nice we'll keep it aside and we'll uh, see what's inside okay i'll take this one out okay we've got in earphones that is an in-ear earphones and uh, you've got the volume rocker as well as the answer ring button for calls and then uh, we have a sim ejector tool uh, and then you have the uh, charger so I believe the charger is a 2 ampere charger so it should charge your phones pretty fast and then uh, let's keep the box aside the phone looks beautiful and it has glass on both sides with a metal frame uh, as it has glass on both sides you will have a lot of fingerprints so please be cautious on that or uh, carry a towel with you and uh, the phone weighs around 155 grams and has a thickness of about uh, 7.3 mm so that's uh, pretty thin and uh, the screen size is 5.2 inch and it has a super AMOLED screen with 1080p resolution uh, this constitutes of uh, 424 ppi which is which is which is good which is quite good and uh, the screen is protected by Corning uh, Gorilla Glass 4 so it should be uh, a bit safe or uh, it should resist against uh, slight drops and all and uh, the phone comes pre-installed with Android Lollipop 5.1.1 and I have got an update uh, today for the Marshmallow so it will be uh, bumped up to 6.0.1 and uh, we have got 2 GB of uh, DDR4 RAM on board and uh, it has a fingerprint scanner it is uh, quite good uh, won't say it is uh, top notch but then it is, it is quite good and I'll have a separate video on how it how that works and then the variant which I have is the Exynos 7580 octa core so it's clocked uh, at around uh, 1.6 GHz uh, Cortex A53 and then uh, I believe the the other version is uh, powered by the Snapdragon 615 so I've not got that and uh, we have dual sim in this phone and there's a separate slot for the SD card as well which can be expanded up to 128 GB it has got a 16 GB internal storage so that's the only version available here and we don't have a 32 or a 64 gig version here it should be sufficient for all the uh, normal users and then the camera is 13 megapixel with a front aperture of uh, 1.9 with OIS and LED flash. This can record up to a 1080p uh, resolution in 30 frames per second. And it has a 5 megapixel front shooter which also has an aperture of 1.9 and uh, it can also take 1080p videos. So uh, these cameras can perform better in uh, low light uh, scenarios. Talking about the battery, uh, it has about uh, 2,900 milliamps of battery. So, uh, for a 1080p screen, uh, this battery should suffice for a day. Uh, you might get even more if uh, you are a mild user. So, the battery life is pretty good, I believe. So, that's all I have for you guys in this video. So, I'll be back with. Uh, uh, more camera review and uh, a game review for this uh, A5 2016 edition. Do subscribe and uh, like the video if you have liked this. And uh, please let me know your comments in the comment section below. See you then. Bye-bye.